Welcome to the Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. We are delighted that you are here with us this evening. And we are now doing part three of Overcoming the Tactics of the Enemy's Strategies, which is we did week number one was deception, and then we did temptations, and now we're going to do accusations. And I want to introduce to you Beverly. Beverly, Hello. this is Hi. not uh, Dovey, this is Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> so Dovey wasn't able to be with us, so well, here we are, just yes. ramming the bush. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. You'll probably see more of her in the future. Yeah. Uh, so with that said, we're going to move on and uh, talk about accusations, another one of Satan's or strategies or tactics to deceive us, trick us, and you know, to come up against the plan and the purposes of God in our lives. So what is an accusation? Accusation. The devil is known as the accuser of the brethren. Revelation 12, 10. He is known to a believer what was done by an embarrassing or a gross sin in the past. He'll try to accuse you of the, something you did in the past. He'll try to rub it in your face, beat you down with guilt and condemnation over your past. How many times when we came into the things of the Lord in the beginning of our walk, we went through like... Yeah. You know, all this stuff that we did, and you know, like it's like it's like the light is shining on this dark thing. Right. And you're thinking, oh, my God. And you feel guilty. You feel yeah. shame. Mm -hmm. You feel all these feelings that are uh, so gross and ugly. And those all were nailed to the cross. Mm -hmm. But yet the enemy is still trying to bring your past yes. up. Yes. Man, when yes. you did that, yeah, yes. Christian, you are. Mm -hmm. yes. then, then the enemy even gets people to talk about it. That's you go right. about your past, Using your old man. Yes. Yeah. Well, girl, who you think you are? I remember when. When you used to, you know, go here and do this or whatever, yeah. you know. Uh -huh. So, the devil ain't got no new tricks. He's the accuser of the brethren. So, uh, it's not just the sins of the past, but any area where we can get access to beat us down. Yeah. Try to beat us down for falling into sin or temptation like we talked about last week. Or anything he can do to bring condemnation to us just through our thoughts that are not of God. So, how do you deal with accusations? The fiery darts of the enemy in Ephesians 6.16 are accusations sent our way. For example, when the devil tries to accuse us of our past sins, we ought to have faith in the finished work of the cross. That that sin was nailed to the cross. Jesus died on the cross to purchase us and to free us and to liberate us from any sin, known, future, past, whatever. Bottom line is, is the faith in the work of the cross and know that we are forgiven and we don't have to look back. We don't have to look back in fear and shame and guilt, what you did, what you didn't do, what you could have did. I should be further than this than where I am now. Oh, my God. That's yes. a good one. Yes, that's is. a. I think every Christian that's goes through that. Yeah. yeah, because mm -hmm. you feel like you missed out on so much you could have been doing, mm -hmm. should have been doing. Mm -hmm. Now that you have wisdom, insight, and knowledge mm -hmm. of who you really are, and what mm -hmm. God has purpose and plan for your life, and now the enemy, yeah, you don't even have this, and you don't, you know, mm -hmm. accusation, they have the yeah. accusation all the time. Mm -hmm. So, but faith is what we have to keep the fiery darts from us. In Ephesians 6.16, as I said, we are not to mm -hmm. meditate about our past. Amen. Because I always like to use this saying that one of the ladies said, and I first heard it, and I always loved it, was this, Looking at your past is like driving and looking at the rearview mirror at the same time. Mm -hmm. Well, eventually you're going to crash and burn. Right. You know, you just, you know, eventually you're looking at the rearview mirror, looking back, and you need to find out what's in front of you. Yeah, right. Absolutely. And the enemy yeah. ain't trying to let you see what's in front of you, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So we are not to meditate about the past because they are, it is passed away in 2 Corinthians 5.17. And our sins have been, what, forgotten. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 6.14 says, stand therefore, stand. Having your loins girded about with truth, knowing your sins have been what? Forgiven through faith again in the work of the cross. And have it on the breastplate of righteousness, not our righteousness. Our righteousness is of what? Filthy, filthy rag. Rags. Filthy rag. You don't even want to clean with a filthy rag. Right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so you can't clean nothing like with a filthy dinner. rag. <laughs> yeah. So God says yeah. it's like a filthy rag. Mm -hmm. But the righteousness of God is in who? Christ Jesus. Our righteousness is, again, like filthy rags. And that's in Isaiah 64, 6. But because of the work of the cross, we can receive the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. Romans 3, 22, Galatians 3, 6. All these scriptures, so this is not our opinion. Mm -hmm. This is what thus saith the Lord. Yes. We are righteous yes. in him. Yes. Therefore, when the enemy tries to remind you of your past, tell him 
His been washed away into mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Your sins have been forgotten. You have righteousness from God. Romans 3, 22. One of the things they used to have when the enemy tries to remind you of his past, your past, you remind him of his future. Mm. Oh, that's good. That. I like that. <laughs> that. uh -huh. That's good. There's a certain lake design with him in mind. Yeah, mm. you know, yeah. just remind him of his future. Yeah. Wow. There was another one that girls used to say when the enemy tries to accuse you and charge you, attempt you, or deceive you, or whatever. Uh, get a chair, and you just have a chair, sit down in the chair, and you put a chair right across from you. Open up the word and begin to read to him. Wow. Read to the devil. <laughs> tell him about his end. Tell him who you are in Christ. So you're mm -hmm. meditating or reading the word out loud. You just yeah. have a little seat there. Mm -hmm. And you're just talking. And cause God, God says we don't pray to the devil, but we speak to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been given the authority to speak authority. to what? Principalities, yeah. rulers of darkness, mm -hmm. spiritual wickedness, and higher place. We speak and declare and decree. We speak mm -hmm. what God says. Yeah. And then we get edified, built up, liberated, mm -hmm. delivered, exactly. free. And the enemy's like in that little chair going, Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, exactly. yeah. Oh, the word, I can't take it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, what is that, that, that the, the Wizard of Ours? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm melting. Oh, yeah, the, the water. Witch, the witch, yeah, the, the, wicked the witch. Wicked witch. Yeah. Wicked witch. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's wow. what will happen yeah. to the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go on a little break now, but we're going to come back, and we are going to talk about uh, uh, the accuser of the brethren. Join us every Tuesday at 5 p.m. for Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. We're going to be speaking on different topics because we know that Satan comes to steal, rob, and destroy. And the Word comes to heal, deliver, free, bless, prosper, all these great and awesome, wonderful things that we should be experiencing and we should have now because we are seated in heavenly places. And when we begin to receive it by faith, and then we know that Satan's what? Satan's best? best just just not, not good enough. enough. Welcome back to the Ladies in Conversation, spiritually speaking. Again, we are talking about the accuser of the brethren. Mm. And believe me, he has plenty of things he tries to accuse us of. Oh, but thank God for the name and the life and the blood of Jesus. So with that said, I'm just going to open it up for a conversation with these young ladies that are beside me and talking about maybe they've been accused by the enemy in some way, form, or fashion, or uh, something that you had to kind of overcome and how you got through it and how the enemy was accusing you, accusing you. And then you found out maybe you didn't know it was the enemy. Maybe you thought it was just who you was or what he was saying. So talk about that. How, how, did, how did you go through or what do you think about that? accuser of the brethren. Anyway, you, you just jump in. Well, that, that's the deception. Sometimes mm -hmm. you don't realize that you are listening to right. the accuser. Sometimes mm -hmm. you don't realize that you went down that path of negative thinking and negative talking. I call it the yin-yang. Mm -hmm. You hear the yin-yang right. and yin-yang and yin-yang and yin yang, 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 yang. Right. You're not good enough, you know, or who do you think you are? Or why do you think that you can do this? Or why are you trying to do that? You know you failed. You know, you know you're not anything. Mm -hmm. You're not good enough. And did God really say? All these mm -hmm. kind of stuff that the enemy uh, get us to uh, step aside of what God you know, has for us and who we know we are in Christ. But the Word of God said for us to come boldly mm -hmm. to the throne of grace, mm -hmm. to obtain mercy and help yep. in the time of need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we remind the enemy who is underneath of our feet that I can come boldly because I'm a child of God. He's already paid the price. So regardless of whether I fell before or failed in trying to do this, shut up. Mm -hmm. Get behind me. Get mm -hmm. underneath my feet. Amen. God says I can. If the word of God says that I can, then I can. And you're reminding yes. the enemy constantly yes. of what God yes. says. Just like yes. when Jesus was in the wilderness and he mm -hmm. said what the word mm -hmm. were. Yes. Well, that's mm -hmm. he's our example. Mm -hmm. And that's yes. true. Yes. Because we, we have to renew mm -hmm. our mind right. with the word of God. Yeah, think we have different. to say what the word says. Mm -hmm. yes. And if God says that we can, and if he says that this is who you are, then that's who you are. Mm -hmm. If he says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, then you can. So I just tell the devil, shut up with the yin-yang. Yeah, <laughs> man. Just, amen. Just, Good. Just shut it up. Because you mm -hmm. recognize the voice of a stranger. Right, yeah. right, right. Because my sheep know my voice. Right. So right. you know when God's speaking and it's a God thought. Yes. Because you have uh, just enough knowledge to know, all right, devil, 
I know you. I recognize your little tactic here. You ain't yeah, going to get yeah. me down like right, that. We right. ain't going yes. there. And speaking the word. Amen. Because the Bible says that Absolutely. the word speak is the quick word. and powerful. Sharp it's alive. George. It's yes. active. And when we speak the word from the authority of who we are, then he has to flee. Has yes. to go. Yes. Yes. Has to go. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And, and uh, talk about a little bit. Uh, I know this is a common, before we get to your, your point, mm -hmm. but this is a common thing for, I believe, most Christians, when I kind of alluded to it earlier when I was talking about it, uh, they get to a place that if you get saved, say, at a, in a young adult, maybe not at a young, young, I mean, like, maybe in your 30s or 40s or 50s or 60s or 70s. Oh, well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom line is how the enemy tries that. I see it all the time, hear it all the time. They try to accuse you of where you should be at mm -hmm. in oh, life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. And yes. you're not. Yeah. Some people, mm -hmm. maybe, they realize now that they, they can be yeah. uh, healed or prosperous or mm -hmm. this or that or mm -hmm. the other, liberated or whatever. And now they're struggling through certain mm -hmm. areas of their life. And mm -hmm. they, if they had only known years ago. What we know now. Right. right. So then we right. go through this thing about, well, even just uh, having a better job. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not renting and having a house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I should have more. I should be married. Mm -hmm. But if, now that you have more insight, right. wisdom, and knowledge, and now that the enemy is not deceiving you, right. or the curse is not operating. Right, yes. Mm -hmm. So, talk about that. Have you ever been through something like where the enemy is, so you should be a lot further? Abs absolutely. Yeah. As there are times when I would hear the yin-yang, you know, or I'll see other people who may be farther than I am, or right. where I want to be, to be. Right. and mm -hmm. while well, you've been saved for this many years, why aren't you further? Why aren't right. you doing this? But I have to I have to remind him who I am in Christ because God said he will redeem the time. Right. He will restore. Absolutely. He will do it. Yeah. So as long as I continue to keep myself submitted to him and walk the path that mm -hmm. he has for me, then I have to shut down a yin yang. Mm -hmm. and walk in his authority and walk in love and learn to walk, love myself. Right. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we give in to the accusations of the devil because we're not really loving ourselves. Right. And we have to love ourselves. And Christ loves us and we have to love one another. So when we know who we are, when we fill us up with his love and his knowledge, it shuts down the yin yang when we talk mm -hmm. back to him and remind him, like you right. said, mm -hmm. right. remind, remind him of him. his future. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and it's easy when we look at other believers mm -hmm. and, and what the enemy does is when as he's accusing us of, oh, you should be further ahead. Mm -hmm. And, and, and when we hear the voices that a lot of times we get it confused and think we're thinking that of ourselves. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's actually the enemy. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we end up falling into comparison. Mm -hmm. right. Then we're comparing yeah. ourselves with mm -hmm. someone else. And then if we're not careful, we can be envious and jealous. Right, yeah. So it's just that trap. Mm -hmm. He's getting us in that trap. Snare. So when the, the, when the Lord says, celebrate mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. your brother or sister right. yeah. and weep when they weep. Right. So now you're, you're getting to that part where you're just falling short. You're sinning because, yeah. oh, Jealousy, you know, you're thinking, competition. why should they? Should, they just started in mm -hmm. this, and why are they getting so much higher? And it's just like I had to look at myself because I, I saw that happening to mm -hmm. me, but I knew I had gotten to the place where I knew I can, I can sense the voice of accusation. Sure. Where I couldn't do that before. Because to me, it was like, well, that's what it looks like. That's what it is. It, 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 you know, but it, what, what it was was the enemy was accusing others through me. Mm -hmm. So he was speaking stuff to me, and I would accuse others. Oh, okay, right. So it was like that channel. So I was like, that person is such and such and such. So what I did was when I recognized that, I mm -hmm. said, oh, liar mm -hmm. you know and I will not accuse them mm -hmm. and so it made me get the wisdom of the Lord to cancel that out break that down and look at what God has for me is for me right I have to believe in his timing for me absolutely I have to believe like what he has for her or him is for them and so I had to be at peace and trust the Lord that he knew what he was doing and the Lord and and be like even if I did miss the mark it's okay right mm -hmm. Because the Lord is still going to see you through it, Absolutely. and he will still, you know, it's just that kind of grace. You have mm, to be gracious grace. to yourself mm -hmm. and not be so hard on ourselves and have these uh, standards right. and measurements of ourself 
that the Lord says, I didn't ever ask right. you that. Competition, you know, stuff comparison. We, yeah, we put stuff on ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things I, I, I know when I used to be in a secular world, working and whatnot, and I'm living for the Lord, doing what I'm believing is God's will, you know, the whole nine yards. And then I would see all these sinners prospering. Yeah. Wait a minute, what yeah. the world is this? Yeah. How come they got, wait a minute, hold on, what's up? I thought, you know, my mindset then at the time. Yeah. You know, but I believe, you know, a lot of people as 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 believers that are in that secular environment mm -hmm. go through that because that's, again, the accuser of the brethren saying, you know, look, they didn't got this and they, and they, they living, you know, doing their thing every day and mm -hmm. they just, you know, got this, got that. And, yeah. Because when you start off, in the things of God, you're really starting off with your needs because mm -hmm. you have a lot of needs. Mm -hmm. That's what God says, well, I meet all your need mm -hmm. according to my riches in grace and yeah. glory. But, but the bottom line is um, we have to trust God to know what his riches and glory is and how he wants to accomplish that, how he wants to do that as we, uh, yeah, we obey, we, we hear the voice, we, we know what thus saith the Lord. So we're looking at things in the natural, saying, well, how they, you know, I've been struggling all these years, and all of a sudden they're getting promoted. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, yeah. I've been oh, doing this, and they, they, they got the house, and I'm still in an apartment. What's mm -hmm. up with that? Mm -hmm. Because they said, well, as a Christian, you're supposed to be prosperous. You're supposed mm -hmm. to be this. You're supposed yes. to be that. Mm -hmm. And then you're looking at the sinners, not even thinking about God, don't care nothing about them, you know, just doing their thing, and they're just, but they don't, they don't realize they don't understand because when they come into the kingdom and all that the enemy deceived, tricked them into, they now have to be redeemed from and restored out of and, you know, restored mm -hmm. back into redemption, mm -hmm. the whole nine yards. And then the, the light comes on. That's why it's so important that we have faith mm -hmm. in the finished work, mm -hmm. no matter where we mm -hmm. stand, mm -hmm. whether it's you're comparing yourself or competing with someone as a believer, maybe looking like they've been prospering or they're doing well. And, and you think, you know, well, I am go to church. I pay my tithes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I I'm give faithful. my offerings. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. yeah. Faithful. Mm -hmm. uh, I praise God. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, yeah. I ain't falling into no known sin that I know of. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. So you're like, uh, what's going on here? And because you may be still struggling emotionally, mm -hmm. you know, and don't know why. And seeing God is working things out. That's why... I've, Faith is so valuable and so important to know that even it being in the wilderness, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. yeah. sometimes you're in that wilderness like, mm -hmm. uh, God, where are you? Exactly. Where is you? Mm -hmm. Especially if you're working in a secular job and you got all this darkness around you. Mm -hmm. So what do you do in a situation like that with all that darkness around you? And the enemy's constantly accusing, look at that, you know, they're getting the promotions, they're getting the houses, they're getting this, they're getting that. And you're trying, you just still on food stamps. You keep your eyes on God. Yeah. yeah. You get that rhema word. Like the word says that faith comes by hearing. And mm -hmm. hearing, hearing by the, the word, word of God. God. Mm -hmm. And that word, the second word in that scripture is rhema when you look it up. When you get a personal word from God and you say, well, God, what is it that you have for me? Yeah. I asked God, I said, God, what is it that you had in mind when you thought about that word? That's good. Mm -hmm. Before That's good. you brought me forth in this world, what did you have in mind right. for me? That's good. And that way I am able to keep my eyes on Christ and what he's doing in me and through mm -hmm. me. And it's like, devil, newsflash, I'm not supposed to be like someone else. Right. He yes. made me Beverly. Yes. And I can be happy and content mm -hmm. and be happy for those other people that yes. believe. Like. And it's a mindset. It's right. Because yes. you have to... It's almost like you have to train your mind yes, to think absolutely. like that. Yes. Because it's like the old saying goes, you can, the birds can go over your head, but you don't have to allow it to make a make nest. A nest. Yeah, that's right. And that's the bottom yeah. line. It's just like you yeah. were saying, you know, the feelings of competitiveness, mm -hmm. uh, comparison. Mm -hmm. Those are natural thoughts, but godly thoughts cancels that out. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, cancels it out yeah. because now you take off that old stinking thinking, yes. mm -hmm. and you say, God, in Jesus' name, I rebuke that, and I re refuse. I pray for my brothers and my sisters, and I yeah. thank God and I honor mm -hmm. them. See, and you know, it's it's not even a feeling; uh, it's an act of obedience mm -hmm. to do it yes. God's way. Yes, mm -hmm. you want a God result, mm -hmm. you do it God's do it way. God's and way. then one of the t the tactics that I use mm -hmm. is that every time that thought came. 
I just spoke blessings over yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, I just right. prayed Makes over them. God bless right. them, do yeah. this and do that. Right. And it right. got to the point where when there was an um, opportunity to share, I actually share with the person mm -hmm. what the enemy was doing. And we got so close. Yeah. And That's we something. found that it was because of our similarities. Sure. The enemy was trying to cause division yeah. where we can work together mm -hmm. and grow. And work for the building the kingdom, right? And that's all. That's, that's what exactly was. what's happening right now in the body of Christ in more ways than one. Because mm -hmm. God is elevating and raising up His gifts now in such an awesome and a powerful and a supernatural way. And we are, as a body of Christ, we should be there to help each other in yes. the area of our Absolutely. giftings, Absolutely. in the area of our empowerment that we get from the Spirit, the wisdom mm -hmm. of God. Because again, just like you said, the enemy will try to cause division and strife before you even know the person personally. Yes, right. absolutely. <laughs> you know, yes. what she thinks she is, thinks she's cute. Look at her, mm -hmm. all the colors all the time. Mm -hmm. I really like them colors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, just that's thinking, Bev. yeah, that's, that, that's Bev. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's her unique way and, that, and it's yeah. unique and it's good, I love it. Mm -hmm. but, but the thing is, that's how the enemy operates, mm -hmm. accusing and charging and mm -hmm. saying negative, mm -hmm. ugly, and if that's happening, then we need to renounce it, reject yes. it, cast, and yes, say yes. what God says. Yes, yes, yes cast absolutely. down his imagination yeah. and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge right. of God. And go, oh, Sonia, I'm so happy yeah. about your book. Yeah, yes, you know, maybe amen. you can help me with my sure. yes, or maybe absolutely. about your marriage. That's or, good. Yes. You know, whatever it is. And, That's and good. Bless that person. Right. But, but we do have to examine our own heart. Right, yeah. Is do. there jealousy? Is there animosity? Is there unforgiveness? Mm, because yes. a lot of times that could be stopping us from our own blessing. Well, yeah, yeah. It, it's yeah. going to come. Yeah. You can rest assured because yes. that's a part of that flesh mm -hmm. that operates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And God will even allow you to, 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 to see it for what it is. Now, it's up to us to be able to get it, it off of us. Right. Put yeah. off that old yeah. man. Yeah. Right. Put on the new man. Mm -hmm that is renewed mm -hmm. in the righteousness of mm -hmm. the one who mm -hmm. created you. Mm -hmm. Thinking on those things that are good, pure, perfect, lovely, and praiseworthy, yes. and good report. Yes. The bottom line is we have to do it even if we don't feel it. Yes. Right. And it's sometimes oppressed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Because yes. that flesh is thick. I know it <laughs> is. Yes. Yes. You know, but sometimes you have to say, Lord, I just do this unto you. In me, it's no good thing in my flesh. Mm -hmm. I can't in any other way but in your spirit presence, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. you strength. Mm -hmm. And when you acknowledge him, then, you know, a peace might just take you over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, God opens up a door to be able to, for you to walk through easily and mm -hmm. gracefully. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. But we forget to acknowledge. Yes. Because we are still living in this, uh, uh, what is it, this human nature, this, mm -hmm. this flesh, flesh and blood, and blood mm -hmm. uh, uh learning spiritual things in a natural, I forget the scripture, I had it said it before, but the bottom line is the enemy, the devil, the, the devil, the world, and the flesh is always operating, come mm -hmm. up against mm -hmm. the wisdom, the will, of the purposes of God. Yes. So we have to, what, one thing, God didn't give us a bunch of stuff, he gave us his word. Yeah. He gave us his love, mm -hmm. unconditional. Mm -hmm. He gave us restoration, mm -hmm. healing, deliverance, yeah. freedom. All yeah. this is yeah. given to us. Yeah. Whether he Thank speaks God. it as a yeah. rhema word, yeah. whether he gets word as we get our minds changed because yeah. we begin to think like Abba Daddy, our Father God. Yeah. Like, I know who her father is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And I, I love yeah. when the word where Jesus says, be of good cheer because I have overcome. Oh, yes. I have overcome the world and I have Mm -hmm. Right. You know, yes. So we have Lord. victory in him. So I don't have to be jealous of someone else yeah. or no one else has to be jealous of me. Absolutely. Because he's already had your whole life designed for, for you. you. Yes. It's for yeah. you. Absolutely. I can't walk in your shoes. That's right. I could never be a Mary Cooper, past the Mary Cooper. I can't be a Mary Cooper. I love her dearly. Yeah, I know. But I love her. She's a gift. Yes. And I have to be me. Yes. And you have to be here. Yeah, absolutely. And he's, he's going to do through us what he's planned and purposed to absolutely. do. Absolutely. Yes. And what we should do is be a gift yes. one to the other. Yes, absolutely. As be God happy. is leading and mm -hmm. guiding and instructing us mm -hmm. because we all need each other. The mm -hmm. Word of God clearly says that they will know us by the love no. that we have one for the other. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that should be our focus, yes. our main uh, 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 walk of faith to know that no matter what, I have to love my sister, my brother mm -hmm. unconditionally mm -hmm. like Christ. I have to grace them with their love. Mm -hmm. I have to grace them with the gift.
gift that God called me to be. I have to help them when they're down, cry with them when they're crying, yes. weep with them or right. joyful right. with them or whatever it is yes. to be there, to be like a type of a, a Christ to them, right. like yes. Jesus. Yes. Yes. You know, whether yes. it's through a prayer or a comforting right. word, whether it's through helping them in a need that is needed, whatever the Spirit of God is putting on your heart to do, God, right. the world looks at that and says, that's, that's strange, that's weird. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Y'all know that it's nobody but God, because right. they yeah. can't, nobody can do that. You can right. do certain things for a season or a time or a while, mm -hmm. to a point, but when it comes to God doing it, a work in you, to you, through you, and for you, it's constant, it's consistent, mm -hmm. and it stays with you, because mm -hmm. that's now your nature. Mm -hmm. You walk in the nature of God right. just through Christ Jesus. Right. So with that said, we're going to just call it an evening, <laughs> thanking God that you will not be accused by the enemy who comes to choose you and charge you and, and, and deceive you and trick you and try to get you off course, off the path that God has preordained and destined for you to move forward to receive the inheritance that is rightfully yours. Because God does have a wonderful and a great plan for each and every one of his people. Yes. He didn't call us out of darkness into his marvelous light. He for naught, he called us for purpose. He called yes. us for his will to be yeah. done. He called yeah. us to let us know that we don't have to be in fear. We don't have to be in worry. We don't have to uh, uh, worry about needs. He said, I got that. Mm -hmm. I got, I got yes. your back. Yes. I got you. <laughs> you I'll take care of that need. Let me do it. I'll give you favor when you need it. Mm -hmm. I'll give you insight, wisdom. Just ask me. Acknowledge me. Everything is already yours to be had. Restoration, redemption, mm -hmm. healing, mm -hmm. prosperity, deliverance. Oh, you know, people take that one word, prosperity. That's a prosperity uh, ministry. No, it's all deliverance, healing, blessings, mm -hmm. all of it. Because that's who we are in Christ. Yes. I, even as our soul prospers, mm -hmm. we will be in good health. God said it. And I'll tell you, I'm going to take him at his word. Amen. And I'm going to be led by the Holy Spirit to show me the way to go, the what to do, the how to, because he's got the in information, he's got the wisdom, he's got the what I need. All I got to do is stay tapped in, receive what the Holy Spirit is leading, guiding, and instructing me to do, the way that God would have me to do it, so that I can receive the inheritance that is rightfully mine. The flesh, the devil, and the world, they must shut up and shut down, because there's only one way one truth and one life and that's through the power of the name and the life of the blood of the Lordship of Jesus Christ. God bless you and have a great evening.